And what were some of the, you, you did focus groups and tested yes. it on people, and what were some of the challenges that you faced and, and how did you overcome them with the product itself? Yeah, well, um, so, you know, we, we decide, okay, we're gonna make these products. How are we gonna m create a product that prevents acne? Okay, we know you can't spot treat the pimples. And since these acne lesions are brewing underneath the skin way before you see it, the only way that you're gonna stop acne from happening is by treating the whole face every single day. So we knew we had to treat, we knew we had to do that. We knew we had to create products that were medicated, that were leave-on products, and so that's where we started. And we tried at higher concentrations, found out they burned people, and that wasn't good. And then we started on lower concentrations and found that we got the same degree of efficacy using lower concentration of a medicine, which was benzoyl, is benzoyl peroxide, still our famous favorite drug, and testing it out on patients. So it was a lot of trial and error over the course of that year um, of formulation work. And, and then you were asking about the focus group. And I think that, that was an interesting thing that happened because you know, I think one of the things as an entrepreneur that you need to be prepared for is bad news. And my husband, again, would always say, you want to hear the bad news. You want to know all the problems before you're ever going to launch a product. You don't want to launch a dud. <laughs> and so as hard as that you know, is to hear, because you think you know, you've created the best thing ever, you got to put it to the test. So yes, we tested it on our patients, but you know our patients love us. They've been seeing us. We're their doctor. They're going to tell us wonderful things. And so we commissioned a focus group. A friend of mine is a market researcher, and she helped us. And a focus group is where you recruit people in your target market. So we, our target market for proactive, what were women, mainly adult women, because there was no product that really addressed adult female acne. There were a lot of teenage products. So adult women who had acne, who used over-the-counter medicines and even some prescription medicines and had seen a dermatologist, we wanted to make sure we recruited the right group. And we had three groups of 10 people. And when you go, you meet at this research facility and you sit you know, on the opposite side of this you know, one-way window. So you can look out and see them and they can't see you. And so Kathy and I are sitting there in this nervously eating M&Ms and listening to people talk about our product and about acne in general. And one of the things that was so amazing was that these women who'd been recruited because they had acne, when they were in this focus group, they all said they didn't have acne. Not one of them said they had acne. And they couldn't identify with that word. So, okay, that was the first knot in our stomach start eating more M&Ms. Then they pass around the products, and you watch women do this. They open the jar, they sniff the jar, and then they look like they were gonna throw up. They went, oh, okay, and they put the jar down. So it was, it was very clear to us that these women were not gonna use our stinky product to treat a problem that they didn't think that they had, all right? After three years of, or two years of, research and development on these formulas, imagine how you'd feel. You know, you'd made this and these women are not gonna use it. And clearly they have the problem, but they don't understand that they have the problem. And they're, they don't, they're not gonna use something that has the type of aesthetics of what we initially produced. So we had to go back to the drawing board and we had to reformulate all of our products and make them smell good and feel good and model them after skincare rather than after acne medications, so that we could then get people to use them, which would be compliance in doctor lingo, and we'd get results, and that is what eventually happened. Well, you mentioned on, on that, of, of sort of taking a different look at your product, mm -hmm. and you mentioned people you meet along the way and how they change your path, and not just sort of change it, but they provide a unique insight. 